Well, hello, jazz friends. How in the world are you? My name is Tom Manuel. I'm the founder and director of the Jazz Loft in Stony Brook, New York, the East Coast's only museum, performance venue, and educational institute solely dedicated to the American-born art form called jazz. And I'm so glad that you've joined me for another episode of this little thing we're doing, a weekly series called Behind the Scenes, where I give you a little sneak peek and some funny anecdotes and stories behind some of the archives here at the Jazz Loft. If you were enjoying that funky little tune, that was from great George Grunt's big band record with compositions of our own hometown hero and Jazz Loft Vice President, Mr. Ray Anderson wonderful trombonist voted by the critics poll of the best jazz trombonist several years in a row. Man with incredible amount of compositional credits, album credits. I believe as of last count he has appeared on his own and other albums totaling in his career somewhere over 180. He's also the director of jazz studies at Stony Brook University and we are so privileged and honored to have the Ray Anderson archives housed here at the Jazz Loft. On exhibit, I'm sitting amongst many of them. They've been here since October of 2019. And if you come to the Jazz Loft right in our main lobby, you can see some wonderful photos of Ray throughout his career with many of the bands that he performed with, such as the Pocket Brass Band. You could see some records that he recorded, some vintage vinyl read a wonderful bio about him, but I want to tell you about something that's rather important and special to me, and that is this beautiful gold-plated trombone that is on display. It's a 1947 Kahn AH trombone, and Ray purchased this very trombone in 1978 for $200. He played it exclusively up until 1993. It's in a lot of the pictures that are on display on this wall. And it was at one time the trombone of the first trombonist in the New York City Metropolitan Opera. Now, I don't believe Ray bought it directly from that person, but somebody else, a wonderful trombonist who had it at the time. And the bell had been crushed in an elevator, and there's some sort of a story about it being replaced and um, reshaped and redone by the real master of brass instrument repair, uh, a man by the name of John Petanto. And Ray was really performing this um, instrument quite happily after it had been repaired by Pepe, as he was referred to, and enjoying it, trotting all over the globe, doing recording sessions, and he always lovingly referred to it as, as, as his cash. He had the horn gold-plated in 1993 as an act of faith. It was at that time that Ray was suffering from Bell's palsy and a paralysis of the left side of his face, and he could not play even a single note, believe it or not. The gold was an affirmation that Ray would indeed recover, and it did work, although it was five months before he was able to perform again. I love this instrument because it, it tells the story of Ray's spirit, uh, musically, but also his dedication and his spirit of perseverance. We have some wonderful manuscripts that are on display, including the manuscript of the literary lizard. That was the tune you were listening to before we started today. So come on down to the Jazz Loft and check out the Ray Anderson archives, as well as many others here on display. I just want to thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for another episode of Behind the Scenes. We're doing that every week, so please tune in next week for something new and exciting from the Jazz Loft. And please remember to support your arts organizations during this time. Not just the Jazz Loft, but other not-for-profits that need your help and your assistance now more than ever before. If you're so inclined and able to, please visit thejazzloft.org where you can make a donation to our fund that is going directly to supporting jazz musicians that are in dire financial economic need. We had our first round of checks just go out. Those were completely due and thanks to patrons like you who donated so generously. We were able to gift 15 jazz musicians with checks of assistance from the Jazz Loft. I'm reminded of the great words of Duke Ellington who said that a problem is a chance for you to do your very best. So if you're able, please join us. Thanks so much for being here. Come back next week for another episode of Behind the Scenes. And until we meet again, take care and God bless.
Bye-bye.